Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got some news for you. Big blockbuster trade. But before we get to the blockbuster trade, before we get to any of this stuff, I just want to say, hey, if you're watching this video, leave me a like, comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get great content like this. Assuming this is great, but that's a matter of opinion. So anyway, let's get on to the news. First of all, the lesser of the news items is that the Hall of Fame has voted nobody in this year. No one got in. The closest one to getting in was Kurt Schilling, who appeared on something like, I think it was 72 point something percent of the videos, or um, the... Um, videos. The 72 uh, point something percent of the uh, ballots, I think it was maybe 72, 73 percent, something like that, but he needed to get 75, he needed to appear on 75 percent of the ballots, and he did not. Now, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I also think that he has been snubbed because of the fact that he has, um, unpopular political views and um, and he says some really insensitive things on social media. Now, do I agree with what he says? No, absolutely not. I think as far the things that he says are heinous, but that has nothing to do with what he did on the field. And if he belongs in the Hall of Fame based on what he did on the field, he should be in the hall. The same thing, I believe, goes for Clemens and uh, Bonds and anybody else who's got that cloud hanging over them, the, the, uh, the ped cloud. That It's ridiculous. First of all, none of those guys have, you know, um, Clemens was not um, popped on a, uh, on a P-test. Neither was Bonds. So the proof is, is lacking that they actually did that. Do I think they did it? Yes. Based on everything I've heard? Yes, I do. But nobody has any proof that that happened. And secondly, if you want to cheat to try to make yourself better, I don't really, personally, I don't have a problem with it. Some people do. Some people don't like it. The Hall of Fame has this stupid thing that they say that you need to consider their sportsmanship and their morality. It's a bunch of bunk. If you go to the Hall of Fame, you want to see the best players who ever played the game of baseball based on what they did on the field. If Bonds isn't in, if Clemens isn't in, then you're not seeing that. If Schilling isn't in, you're not seeing that. So I think it's ridiculous. Now, Schilling has asked to be taken off of next year's ballot, which would be the last year that he could appear on the ballot. That's also stupid. He has a tendency to say stupid, insensitive things, and that is uh, also something that's very stupid. But according to the Hall's rules, he is on the ballot. He has gotten over 5% um, every year, so he will remain on the ballot for 2021 or uh, 2022, whatever we're talking about here. So next year, ne on next year's ballot, he will appear again on next year's ballot. So um, whether he wants to or not, he, his statement says that he would be, he doesn't want the writers voting again. Now, I understand from that standpoint because the baseball writers are, they're collectively stupid in the way that they vote people in. The criteria they use, the criteria they use to eliminate people, it's all, they're collectively idiotic. Sometimes they do hit some people who should actually be in, like Larry Walker should be in the Hall of Fame. He was voted in last year. Jeter should be in the Hall of Fame. He was voted in last year. Yes, every once in a while they get the no-brainers right, but they don't tend to get some of the borderline people, some of the people that um, would be in based on analytics, but not so much on 
the eye test or on the, you know, whatever test you want to use, batting average, you know, different things like that that they used to use back in the day. So collectively, they're a stupid organization for voting people in. They've done a, a pretty decent job, I would say, but they, but they still, their criteria sometimes is just ridiculous. So from that standpoint, I can understand him not wanting to be on the ballot because he doesn't want them voting on him. But you've got one year left. Why not see if you can get the 75%? He says he would be happy to be voted in by the Veterans Committee if a group of former players think that he deserves to be in. That's going to happen anyway. Even if you get on next year's ballot and you don't get voted in by the Baseball Writers Association of America, you're still going to get in eventually. So, you know, I, I would think on the Veterans Committee. Um, hopefully, because the Veterans Committee seems to do a better job. They, they've they played with the guy, they're the former players. They've played with players like Schilling. So they're, they're better qualified, I think, to judge whether a guy really belongs in the Hall of Fame or not. And hopefully, eventually, Bonds and Clements will get in too. So that's my spiel on the uh, on the Hall of Fame. Now moving on to the blockbuster trade. The Cardinals have acquired third baseman Nolan Arenado from the Colorado Rockies along with $50 million because Nolan Arenado is making a lot of money. People will come, Ray. People will most definitely come. And in return, Colorado gets left-handed pitcher Austin Gomber who last year pitched 29 innings, allowed six earned runs, 19 hits, had a 117 whip, and struck out 27 batters. So he's not too bad. Um, actually, he's pretty good. Um, they'll also get um, minor leaguer Lucan Baker, who hit 244 with 10 home runs at high A in 2019. They will get... Um, Jean, Jean Torres or Juan Torres, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He's uh, only 20 years old and he hit 242 with six homers in A ball in 2019. And then they will also get Jake Woodford or Angel Rodon, um, two right handed pitchers, their choice of, or they're going to get one or the other of those right handed pitchers as well. So, um, you know, the Rockies, I guess, have a pitching issues that they wanted to shore up. Although most of these guys are, are just minor league talent, and they're minor league talent that hasn't done spectacular in the minor leagues. So, I don't know. I mean, getting Gomber was nice, but this, I mean, what this deal basically uh, boils down to is it's Nolan Arenado for Austin Gomber. Is that good? I'm asking. So anyway, yeah, that's that's the big deal. Uh, the, the Cardinals uh, are not playing around. I'm not happy to see it because the White Sox actually play the Cardinals this year, whereas we do not play the Rockies. So that's going to be a little bit of a concern. And I'm glad I didn't do the uh, comparing the White Sox to the Cardinals video. By the way, I do have that series out. You might want to check that series. I will be up to, um, I'm up to five videos right now comparing the White Sox in individually in each video to a team that they play in 2021. Haven't done the Cardinals yet, and now I got a lot to consider in the new video for the Cardinals when I, when I get around to doing that. So anyway, that I just want to let you know about that big blockbuster trade and that nobody got elected to the Hall of Fame, which you probably already know because that is old news. The Cardinals trade is a little newer, and that's why I wanted to come out and get that video out right now. So, how did you guys like that video? Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.